Continuing to monitor two areas of potential tropical development that could have impacts in the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf. Your forecast across the Caribbean and the Bahamas starts right now. This is Meteo Mundo. Hi friends, Rusty back here at Media Mundo. Nice to see you on a Saturday. Hope you're doing well. Coming up in this video, we'll talk about some active weather across our area for today. We'll take a look at the weekend forecast and deep dive into the tropics as it looks to stay busy. It is October. It's that time of the year. We'll cover all of that. As always, love to hear from you guys. Drop it in the comments section below where you're viewing from, what's been happening with the weather. Of course, you have a specific question, you can drop that in the comments section below as well. Let's get started on this Saturday afternoon. What's basically happening in our area right now? In the Western uh, Caribbean, we continue to monitor again, active weather on the Eastern side of this larger Central American gyre. Again, what that basically is, is an inherent area of spin across this part of the world this time of the year with the monsoonal season. We really get a lot of rain in this area from time to time and Along the periphery of that with this inherent rotation, we can get some spin ups tropically as well. Now, at this point in time, this is still a huge area of very disorganized showers and storms. But for places like Panama and Costa Rica and eventually Honduras and Nicaragua on up towards Belize and the Yucatan, the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, it's going to spell wetter weather. We're just going to have more moisture beginning to avail itself and rain chances will go higher. So on this Saturday, we're going to get some passing showers and thunderstorms for our friends in Jamaica. Some of that could ramp up by the early to mid afternoon hours with an even higher chance late afternoon. Watch out for some lightning developing as well. We can already see that here relatively early on this Saturday afternoon for portions of Cuba. That's going to try and streak into the Cayman Islands where we've already had some passing showers, especially over Grand Cayman even a little bit of lightning. You live in these areas, let me know in the comments section below. You let me know in Jamaica, drop it down. Let me know if you've seen some of these showers. The concentration of moisture will actually be even a little bit better as you get to the Caribbean coastline of Quintana Roo from Cancun to Cosmo, back down towards Tulum and Chechmal, then into Belize where cloudy skies are beginning to fill in across the coastal area, San Pedro and Belize City, Dangriga, and some of that rain will try and work its way inland as well. Going to get some cloudy skies and some scattered showers near Roatan, San Pedro Sula, and this activity again will be fairly widespread. Rain chances will be high on this Saturday. On over towards the Bahamas right now. Take a look at what's happening just to the south and to the uh, west of Andros. Showers and storms developing there in the Straits of Florida. That's actually going to be trying to build back north. So we'll see rain chances improve throughout the day for Andros and New Providence and Eleuthera and eventually Bimini, Grand Bahama, Walker's Key and Abaco as well. Spottier showers are possible through the central and southeast Bahamas. And then we have this nice little mid-level feature here on the tail end of what was Milton that is actually actually going to promote a few showers and storms today for the Turks of the Caicos. You can see those uh, drifting up to the north and those might even get into the southeast side of the Bahamas as well towards the Acklands. Right now we're relatively quiet in the Dominican Republic in Haiti, but later this afternoon and evening, the opportunity for a couple of isolated showers and storms. Rain chances aren't phenomenal, but they're decent and it'll be the same situation through the U.S. and the British Virgin Islands as well. Switch over to the visible satellite imagery and you see a few streaks of clouds beginning to roll back in. Again, in these areas, when it's not raining, it's been very hot. Feels like temperatures approaching 110 Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. And you can see that nice little shear line here, which will promote some showers and storms again in the Turks of the Caicos. Nice little plume of moisture coming back into the northern side of the Lesser Antilles on this Saturday afternoon. That's going to try and drive in a slightly better rain chance for Guadeloupe and Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, Seva, St. Eustatius, St. Bart's and Anguilla as well. And again, when it's not raining. It's been darn hot outside. Showers and storms will be isolated in nature for Dominique, Martinique, and uh, St. Lucia. But again, where they develop, pockets of heavy rain are certainly not out of the question. That'll be the same situation for our friends in Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines down towards Trinidad and Tobago. A little bit more moisture coming off of the mainland here could spell a few more showers. And for coastal sections of Suriname and Guyana and Venezuela, rain chances will be higher, and we can actually have some heavier rain there as well. We'll go back over to the visible, or excuse me, the enhanced satellite imagery, and you can see some of that flare for the moisture there along the South American coastline. ABC Islands will try and catch a few showers and storms later today as well. Not a horrible chance as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Let's get into the forecast for the next few days, and then we'll get into the tropics. So we'll start off here 
I'll just take this down through Tuesday and then we'll take a look at that. So let's drop that down till Tuesday. Perfect. Loop this up. So again, one thing, regardless of if we're going to get anything tropically here in the Western Caribbean, and I'll have all the newest information for you coming up here in just a couple of minutes, it's going to be a wet forecast for these areas. That is pretty much a guarantee. There's going to be rich moisture in play. We could get some heavy rainfall. We're going to have to start watching out for the potential for some localized flash flooding. Again, throughout all of Central America, eventually portions of the Yucatan, and not out of the question, some heavier rain for Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. It really just depends on how this tries to evolve and spin up. Believe it or not, if it actually stays more disorganized, the rain may actually be even more expansive in nature rather than trying to wrap around a low level center. So we could actually get heavier rain for portions of Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and Cuba if it doesn't really try and spin up. I think regardless, we get wet weather and I mean some exceptional wet weather for Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, portions of El Salvador, Belize, and then up towards uh, Quintana Roo, the Yucatan in general. So expect these rain chances to go higher. For my friends in Jamaica, again, still going to be isolated to scattered for today, tomorrow, better rain chances Monday, and then especially beginning on Tuesday. You can see by Tuesday, rain chances really begin to improve here, and it could be a fairly wet forecast at least for a couple of days. Cayman Islands have already had some showers for today, and again, the approach of the heaviest rain and the best chance will come on Monday and into Tuesday, but really wet weather here for portions of Central America. We've already seen some of that rain drift over again close to Andros today and that moisture plume will just continue to drag north and east throughout this Saturday. More rain will develop across the northern and central sides of the Bahamas into Sunday and again we'll see at least scattered showers on Monday as well. So we're gonna get some pockets of heavier rain here northern central sides of the Bahamas all the way back down towards Exuma, Cat Island, Long Island on over towards uh, Grand Bahama as well. A little bit more scattered for the southeast Bahamas, but still that opportunity will be there. As I mentioned, the Turks and the Caicos will probably run into a few showers and storms later today. We're going to get storms developing with the heat of the day over Haiti and the Dominican Republic the next couple of afternoons. Notice that here on the GFS model, some of this moisture on the far northeast side of that spin might try and lift its way all the way up to the southern coastline of the island. So going to be watching for that for rain chances improving by Tuesday in midweek, even as far east as the Dominican Republic. I think we'll still stay on the scattered side for Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands, but there'll be a better rain chance overall coming. Again, not zero rain chances in the next few days, but many dry hours and locations, so you catch a couple of showers, you need some of that rain, consider yourselves lucky. Once again, the rain will be spotty through the Lesser Antilles, but there'll be some pockets of heavier rain for Anguilla and Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, and Nevis. And again, you'll just see here on the model, it'll drift on by, but heavier downpours, couple of inches, 25 to 50 millimeters in a day, not out of the question. We'll see the same thing for Guadalupe, Dominica, and Martinique. It could be a little bit more concentrated down towards Trinidad and Tobago. Again, just a little bit more of that moisture coming off of the mainland of South America might aid that in just a bit. But again, of note, over the next three days, even when you see this, Tropical storm formation is not expected in the Western Caribbean, at least through early part of the week. We'll get into the tropical side of things coming up. Let's get into your rainfall forecast here the next three days, island by island. Again, the Bahamas over the weekend, 30% chance for showers. The northwest side, up to a 50% chance on Monday. So just a little bit higher concentration early next week. Scattered showers and storms, central and southeast Bahamas. Turks and Caicos, again, might actually pick up a little bit better chance today if that axis of shear, that moisture drifts far enough up to the north. Scattered showers and storms for Cuba. Cayman Islands rain chances will actually just continue to improve. Belize City will continue to have wet weather through at least early next week, but we know uh, based on the forecast that we're talking about here, these rain chances will continue to climb. And that'll be the same situation for Cancun and Cosmo. It's just a wet forecast in general. Jamaica's rain chances, again, are isolated to scattered at best through Monday, but just on the edge of that forecast, rain should improve for there. The Dominican Republic, Haiti, again, 40 to a 50% chance for showers and storms. Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands scattered storms in the afternoon hours. Bermuda's rain chances are relatively isolated. Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, it's a 40 to a 50% chance. 
overall lower rain chances today for Antigua and Barbuda, places like Montserrat, Dominica, and Martinique with slightly improving rain chances Sunday and Monday to the more scattered variety by Monday afternoon. Slightly higher rain chances overall farther south that you go across the island chain, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines, 40 to a 50% chance. Still could see some pockets of heavier rain, but probably not the potential flooding conditions that Barbados has seen recently. Grenada, it's a 40 to a 50% chance. Trinidad and Tobago could get some heavier rain the next few days, so watch out for that. Good rain chances tomorrow and Monday. Same thing for Suriname and Guyana, where overall the rain chances will stay elevated. Nueva Esparta will see some scattered showers and storms. And the ABC Islands, again, still optimistic for some rain. Hopefully you actually had some overnight through this early Saturday morning. If you did, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, again, it becomes pretty isolated Sunday and Monday. As we get into the tropics, friends, if you want to do me a quick payback, just like this video right now, click the thumbs up. I really appreciate it. We love our Media Mundo community. You'd like to join, please hit that subscribe button right now. Of course, it's always free, and we appreciate all of our new subscribers. Thank you for sharing this video with your family and friends and finding ways to help, help support us here on the channel. Okay, so let's get into the tropics. Just real quick look again at what's happening right now on the satellite imagery. It's very clear to see that there is already some large scale spin. Again, that is inherent with our Central American gyre. Notice that the moisture is beginning to fill in. All of the drier air is up to the north. It's gonna be a lovely forecast in the Southeast United States. Those who have been impacted by Milton in Florida will continue to see nice dry conditions for us here. There may not be a drop of rain in some areas over the next five days. That is good news. So obviously we're talking about what might be happening here, but also the potential for something to try and get developed in the Atlantic as well. But first things first, we'll talk about the Western Caribbean and how this is gonna play out. So I'm gonna load up the brand new, I mean hot off the presses, newest 12Z run of the GFS model uh, from this Saturday. Now, this is gonna be the fourth day in a row that we see potential tropical development out of the GFS model. Okay, the last two days from this 12Z run, we have noticed that it's been a very quick beeline back into Central America or even the Yucatan Peninsula. So we are, going get, we are getting tropical development here, but you notice how quickly west that it goes. So again, this is the GFS deterministic model. So let's break this down. First of all, over the next couple of days, we'll just continue to see this moisture gather. It's the same situation we saw with the beginnings of Helene and Milton. So the big question is, do we get a low level center of circulation to develop? On the GFS model, the last several days, the answer is yes, where this would be a depression or a storm, and we'll just see if it goes from there. One way that we would not get tropical development out of this is if the broad center of circulation remains on shore and we never can wrap up anything offshore, okay? Again, this 12Z run drives this back basically along the northern coastline of Honduras and then into Guatemala and Belize. So my friends in these areas, you know, just make sure you pay attention, okay? Nothing more than that. I'm not ready to talk about any locations, any intensities, but the last two days of the GFS model has a hard left turn back into the northern side of Central America and the Yucatan. Now, if this were to play out, we would get some rain for Jamaica, but we probably wouldn't get the most significant impacts. We would get even more rain for the Cayman Islands, but we again, wouldn't see the most significant impacts. I'm gonna show you the ensemble members of this GFS model coming up, and again, there are going to be different solutions than what this deterministic is showing you. Uh, the deterministic model is quite honestly one of the farthest south and west of what might be trying to develop here. So here's my confidence level right now. Extremely confident we are going to get very heavy rain and some flood concerns in these areas. Moderately confident that we could get a tropical system to develop mid to late next week. Depression, storm, something like that. No confidence whatsoever where this may go right now without a low level center of circulation and the models quite honestly are all over the place right now. So we don't want to, you know, pin this on one location to begin with right now. But if you do live in this part of the world, you should prepare for some extremely wet weather and the opportunity that there could be a tropical system trying to develop overhead as we get into mid next week. This is going to be the surface winds out of the GFS model. So we were looking at the rainfall. These are the surface winds. Now yesterday's 
uh, Friday's uh, model showed you again, it was really hugging the Nicaragua Honduras coastline. It's going to be doing that again as well. It'll take just a second and then quickly beelines it to the west closer to Roatan, Guatemala, and Belize. So again, if you live in these areas, just be aware of the opportunity to be out there. There's nothing concrete at this point in time, but for informational purposes, it's October. Quick development can happen this time of the year. I mean, we are in the heart of the Atlantic hurricane season here. So again, it'll take just a second to fully load up. I'm gonna give it a couple of seconds here, and then there we go. So this will be the wind profile. So again, today's the 12th. Nothing Sunday, nothing Monday, Tuesday and the Wednesday, we just to start to see that turn. And there you go, late week, we see that wrap up. And notice how we do get the center offshore, but then it quickly comes right back in and then beelines it back into northern Honduras, Guatemala, and Belize, okay? Now in the short term, as this were to try and wrap up, if we look at the wind, profile, and again, this is straight from the GFS model. If we look at the wind profile here, we would be talking about a potential hurricane. Again, informational purposes only, right? Let me be clear, the Hurricane Center has not put an area out here at this point in time. So the GFS model is saying one thing, we'll look at the European model coming up as well. Now, before we get to the European model, I wanna go back over to the GFS because we've broken this area down, right? Let's talk about what might be happening in the Atlantic. So way out here, you have Invest, I believe this is 94L, but let's double check that number if I can. Give me just one second. I hit the wrong button. Yes, Invest 94L, all right. So you notice there's a yellow area on this. There's an opportunity of development, but you also notice that now it's basically pointed due west. As we go through the week, and I showed you this in yesterday's video as well, there is the opportunity that we get a weak system trying to work its way into the Lesser Antilles. Now on the GFS model, it's actually extremely weak and ragged and would more than anything be a big burst of passing showers and some storms, potentially trying to maybe get a little bit more organized just north of Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic, but it's all very sloppy on the GFS. It's actually the European model right now that has this as a stronger system. So the interesting note is our two global models are actually flopped on the two potential development areas. The GFS is much stronger and more robust in the Western Caribbean, and the European model is stronger and more robust what might be happening near the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico late next week. Okay, so we still have incongruity when it comes to the strength on the models. So again, the GFS ensembles, now we're looking at the different members of the GFS model, right? So they start with a just slightly different initial conditions because some of the initial conditions, again, are estimated. So even, that, even though that deterministic is basically a driving force, the GFS model, if you will, these ensembles we look at because as we go out in time, if there's errors built into some of what the models are seeing, those model errors will get larger and larger over time. Note on the GFS model through basically midnight on Sunday, very early Sunday morning, we again continue to see a signal for potential tropical development coming out of the Western Caribbean. The deterministic model is way down here, so overall it would be farthest south and west. So we have to still keep an eye out for if it develops and exactly where it might tracks. But just to show you that the GFS model does have some members that try and pull the system north and east of where the deterministic has. And that's about as far as we'll go for now. But that area certainly bears watching. On the GFS again, you have a couple of very weak signals where I just showed you, but nothing very strong at all. Again, maybe a depression or maybe just a large area of some showers and some squally weather. On the European model, it's completely flipped. We still get a couple of members trying to develop something in the Western Caribbean. Again, as we get into Thursday and Friday, you can see some of those right here. Now, you can clearly see that by early Sunday morning, we would be a little bit closer to where the GFS deterministic is here, hugging portions of the Guatemala, Belize, and Yucatan coastlines. One little blip here, but a little bit more down here. But 
we have certainly more ensemble members of the European trying to develop what might be quickly racing across the Atlantic development region through the week ahead. We have some of the ensembles actually south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti into the Caribbean, others north staying in the Atlantic and a couple of dotted in between. So again, right now, two development areas that will bear very close watching. So if you live in the western side of our viewing area or you live in the eastern side, we'll keep an eye out both for the week ahead. But friends, it's October. This is very typical here, where as we look at the forecast for just the next five to seven days, there's the opportunity for a couple of areas to develop. Now, again, I mentioned extremely high confidence that it's going to get very wet in the Western Caribbean and eventually the Bahamas as well. Look starting midweek, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and into Saturday. Look at this huge swath of exceptionally heavy rain on this European model, you get to those darker reds, you're four, five, six inches of rain, you're 100 to 150 uh, millimeters. And this is, this is a couple thousand miles here, right? Of extremely wet weather. Most of the Bahamas, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, all of the Yucatan Caribbean coastline and most of Central America, get ready for some hefty rain for the week ahead. And it's clear to see, by the way, on the European model, this is, would be the deterministic, exactly where it pulls that next potential system, right? On the deterministic, just north of the Lesser Antilles, the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. But again, wet weather for the Bahamas as well. So based on that GFS model, it would obviously kick up surf and sea conditions over the next couple of days, and then into the week ahead here in the Western Caribbean. Let that loop one more time for you here. This is gonna be the latter part of the model next Wednesday, Thursday. By the way, another front might try and come in, and this could help to drive whatever develops in the Western Caribbean back west. Again, one more time on that, you'll see the slow development here of what could be happening in the Western Caribbean. Another front coming in could try and drive that farther west. So we could have a blocking front coming in an area of high pressure, not allowing that to lift north too far into the Gulf. That would be the saving grace for the Gulf Coast in Florida. We'll see about the timing of that. Then later again, you get the fresh winds coming in to the greater Antilles and the Bahamas with that next potential disturbance. Friends, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for following us across all social media, Instagram, TikTok, X, Facebook. You can send me an email, mymediamundo at gmail.com. Again, if you have a specific question about the forecast, drop it in the comments section below. While you're down there, thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing here to Media Mundo. Have a great rest of your Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow with all the latest right here at Media Mundo.